say the state of the Brunian is strong. I am your host, Vincent Brew, joined as always by my id in a horse mask, Vincentor, everybody. Thank you. Namaste. Oh, look at you getting all California on me, all tranquil and shit. I feel good, brother. I won't deny it. I feel I feel you feeling good. It's making me feel good. We're manifesting, baby. Are we manifesting? I don't know. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means either, but I do have some pretty exciting potential career news to share hey, with you. Hey, old Vinny Hollywood over here. Nice. Yeah, nice. I, I wouldn't Man. go that far, but uh, yours truly may have landed himself a pretty sweet influencer gig. Oh, shit, nice. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I am stoked. We're like Vinfluencer, am I right? <laughs> Nailed it. Fucking sick, bro. So what's the dilly? Well, uh, it goes a little something like this. I was sitting on the jump, squeezing out a hot beer. Just checking out my socials. When a stranger slid in my DMs They said, do you want to be a horse model Or a brand representative? I didn't know how to answer Took a poll in my story Asked all my friends Should I be a horse model? Well, what do you think? Wow. Yeah, is that a yay or a nay? <laughs> Get it, nay? I <laughs> come up to. Yeah, that's gonna be a big nay for me, champ. Yeah, I do not support the horse modeling industry. Bad stuff? Uh, well, for starters, the pay is garbage, and they treat the horses like shit. Whoa! We're always just the prop, and it's like, no, bitch, you're the prop, okay? We're the fucking horse! Damn, I'm sorry, I had no idea. I'm sorry. And I yeah. will throw your fucking ass off my back if you disrespect me, son. Yeah, I think I'm all set on the horse modeling. Good call. Any whoop, there it is. That's a banger. Not to be confused with whoop, there it is. Also a banger. Yeah, they're basically the same song. Anyway, I think it's time we introduce our special guest for today, a man who is no stranger to giving a State of the Union address. Oh, shit! Ex-President Abraham Lincoln, everybody! Hello. Honest, Abe! My head hurts. Yeah, I'll bet. From whence come your peculiar garments? Oh, um... I think Kohl's. Oh, man, I love Kohl's. Kohl's. Actually, yeah, a lot of great stuff there. Good prices. Like from a mine? <laughs> from a mine. No, no, no. It's a department store, mainly for middle-aged women and me. So it is uh, almost President's Day, and uh, we just wanted to have you on and thank you for all that you did for America. A lot of great stuff, guys. That reminds me of a great play, Our American Cousin. I can't remember how it ended. Not great for you, buddy. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. But, you know, you did so many great things, you know, winning the Civil War, the Emancipation Proclamation, the 13th Amendment, and, and look where we are now, currently celebrating Black History Month. We're doing what? Uh, uh-oh. It's Black History Month, where we celebrate black Americans who fought for civil rights, you know, great leaders and activists, and, I mean, in a way, a lot of that wouldn't have been possible without you. Oh. Eh. Uh... Okay. I mean, you did think slavery was wrong, right? Yes, yes, true. Phew. But uh -oh. mainly I just wanted them to help us win the war. I didn't think we'd be celebrating them someday. Yay! Abe. They do call him honesty. Yeah, Abe, maybe a little less honesty out of you, buddy. I mean, he is a really old white guy, so what do you expect? My head is really killing me. Speaking of racists, I was at this open mic recently, and I was talking to this uh, white rapper outside. Not consensually, of course. He was just spitting his hot fire all over my face. Oh, white what? Don't don't worry and then about Then this it. black comedian comes out, and he had just done this funny bit about why he won't say the N-word. I remember that. Good And this bit. white rapper takes it upon himself to be like, yo, I respect that brother, but just so you know, bro, like, I fucking, like, grew up around the culture, so to me, it's just, like, a sign of respect, you know? Like, I get to say it. What? 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't think it works that way at all. Yeah, definitely not. That's not okay. And the comedian, he's just standing there speechless, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, you know, I'm a pretty progressive guy. I know, you're a great you know? person. And I was like, I should speak up here. You know, I should say something, because that is messed up. Totally, yeah. So I did. Nice. I said, hey, excuse me. Give it to him. You guys know where the bathroom is? Because I really want to get out of this situation because this is awkward. <laughs> oh, man, right? you're like a modern-day Houdini. Yeah, really dodged a bullet with that one. Bro. Oh. What? I think I'm bleeding. Yeah, that's my bad. That's <laughs> Mr. Foot and Mouth Disease over here. I had that when I was three years old. I almost lost my jaw. Anyway, I think that about wraps it up for today. Special thanks to far too honest Abe Lincoln for dropping by the pod. As always, the state of the Brunian is strong. Might ye procure me some morphine? Yeah, I think I got some Aleve somewhere I can get for you, but I don't know if that's going to do the trick.